Hey guys, it's your girl Tara Crush back with another review and this time it is for Sisters on BET. If you haven't already, please hit my subscribe button at the bottom. Boom, 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 boom. Thank you. And I want to get right into this review because a lot happened today. But first, I want to say thank you to the writers for bringing some spice back to this show. Like, the spice is, like, so there, and I, like, so appreciate it. Like, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so, going on to episode 20 of season four. Okay, can I just say that Karen acting like Zach coming back is just, like, so played out. Like, <laughs> how many times you gonna say, that ain't how this works? Listen, Andy. First, he, we break up. He gets mad. He leaves. Then he does something stupid. And then he comes back because I miss him. It's how it works. Stop. 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 Listen. Listen to me. Girl. <laughs> if you don't leave that man alone. <laughs> you need to leave that man alone. Alone, alone, alone. Okay? Alone, yes. You need to leave him alone. So I just, you know, I, I, I just want to say that, like, I'm just so over her acting like this. It is so played out. Because <laughs> if he was going to come back, baby, he would have been back. Period. So I'll get to you later, Karen. And let me tell you, was I getting that phone call from the lady at the, from the airport in the hotel? I, I don't appreciate him. The senator's wife or ex-wife, I don't appreciate him just not telling Fatima right up what it was. Like, why are you being secretive? What has your thinking ever done positively for you, Zach? Please tell me right now. Like, you thinking by yourself did what? I'm just saying, I ain't saying you dumb or nothing. I'm just saying, Fatima is definitely the brains behind y'all's operation. And you don't want to tell her what's going on ever. Why? I do commend you for telling her about this kid, but I don't commend you for, um, you know, keeping other secrets from her. Like, you're going to keep her from uh, learning the truth about anything. I don't get it. I really don't. I don't understand it, and I don't get it. So, just tell her, because that was, like, the most frustrating thing you did, Zach. Like, ugh. I don't like that. And then, let, let me move on to... You know, Danny. Danny's on her first date with Logan. Why the hell would you invite your friends on a first date? I was so frustrated with Danny. I was like, no, girl, no. You don't do that. <laughs> Let this man get to know you without the distraction of friends. Like, you just totally made this a group date and you know this man like you. Like, seriously. But I guess it was all for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. But but the takeaway from the date is is how, you know what I'm saying? Bayo just couldn't get enough of Danny. Oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, your friend is just so beautiful. You have very beautiful friends. Oh, oh she's just so beautiful. <laughs> she's like, would you like me to go get her? Can you? <laughs> And I have to say, Sabrina looked cute. Like, she didn't have on drapes or nothing. And you gonna do her like that? Like, you really gonna put her off? But Danny was looking fine. Y'all gotta admit, Danny was a doll baby in her little dress and her little hair and her little beat face and whatnot. She's a pretty girl. So I just thought that that was um, just kind of strange for her to invite Sabrina and her million dollar man on the date and you know I think Sabrina felt the way and she should have about him showing so much attention to Danny and she should look at it like okay so he's a playboy he's not really ready to settle down like I am because why else would he be looking at my friend so poor Sabrina okay so then we move on to Q oh my goodness what like, how frustrated have I been all season about them letting Q stay there like this frustrated, this frustrated, this frustrated, or this frustrated. The answer is 
this frustrated, like seriously. Like you couldn't tell he was walking you into a trap. You just want to play along. You the dumbest, Maurice, and you need to do some time. Maybe that's how we get rid of you. Maybe that's how we get rid of you and Calvin is by you going to jail. And I'm totally okay with that because why would you even answer a question like that and then we're going to go to Canada and live happily ever after? Yeah, right. You a whole gay man. How you going to live happily ever after with a female? Come on, queen. Come on, queen. Don't do that. I was so mad. I was like, oh, my God. And he fell for it. So you deserve whatever you got coming to you because you should have never went against your gut and let him stay there. I don't care what Calvin said. You should have never done it because now you and Sabrina about to be in a whole bunch of trouble. Stupid. <laughs> and then Gary running back to his office to get, you know, to calm down again. He then called Aaron back and... You know, Aaron's like, why are you so worked up? And he was like, man, I went over there and I couldn't help but to see her with him and blah, 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 blah. And he basically, Aaron, this was probably Aaron's first time seeing the real Gary because he was like, man, you have got to let her go. She's single, man. And he looked at him like, didn't your wife shoot herself? I said, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> so nervous. I didn't know what to think. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> Gary with his milk dud head is. I can't stand him. Jeez Louise. He gonna holler. Didn't your wife shoot herself? Like, don't be giving me no relationship advice because. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to laugh. I had to. I'm sorry. Moving right along. <sighs> so, it seems as though Re uh, Logan recognized either Bayo or Sabrina, but now we know it was Sabrina at the little dinner. He was like, Don't, haven't I seen you somewhere? And he, I thought he was talking to Bayo, and I was about to be like, ooh, you know he'd be dealing with sex traffickers. Maybe Bayo's a sex trafficker, and that's where some of his money come from. Mm-hmm. But no, he looking at Sabrina, you know, and they already linking it up. So they moving the story along right along. Um, because he then goes to Danny's house to warn her that Sabrina needs to be careful and that, you know, and basically asking her about Sabrina, like what type of person is she? Do she seem like the type of person to break the law? And everything like that. And she's like, No, she's probably the most square person you'll ever meet. And she is, because like I said, she walks around with tablecloths and drapes on his clothes. So, there's nothing risque about Sabrina at all. At all. And to be precise, she's been telling Maurice to stay away from Q. That they already thought it was an inside job. And that, you know, he could really lose his job behind this. And I just really feel like he deserves to lose his job because you just can't be that stupid. You want to lust after this man and act like you don't want him there. Girl, boo. <laughs> Girl, boo. Now you're going to be in jail with a whole bunch of men. So I don't know how that's going to work out for you. But, you know, stupid don't get rewarded. Nowhere in the world. So good luck with that. So um, Bayo did apologize to Sabrina about asking about Danny for so long and said, you have my undivided attention. That is a lie. I only have your attention because you saw me not having your attention and you felt bad. Because my friend took my attention from you and I don't like it. <laughs> so, um, that's what's up. And so again, Logan goes to Danny says She's pissed. She's mad. She's like, what do you want? I don't like this. And, you know, and he's like, well, can I come back and see you? I just need to talk to you. She was like, I guess come on back. He was like, I'm at the door. <laughs> I would have been like, boy, if you don't stop coming to my house un uninvited, I'm going to call the police on you, police. So, you know, he tells her that, you know, basically Sabrina needs to get an attorney. He won't tell her why. And, you know, leaves right on out the door like it's nothing. And then we go back to, to Andy and basically she asked Gary 
when he comes back because he calls it's like i'm downstairs can you let me up I'm like yeah come on up what's up what's really going on and he's like what do you mean he, she was like what's this all about and she was he was like i don't know what you mean basically she asked him straight up do you have rec uh cameras in here watching me and he was like no i would never do that no and she said, well, how did you know Robin was here? How do you how you feel like I knew that? Because I know that look. And he just went on and came out with it. And she lost her mind. She was like, you know what? You ain't changed one bit. I told you that, Andy. Why you didn't listen to me? I be trying to save you and my other friends from such heartache. But you're hard-headed. You want to go through your own processes, don't you? Don't you? <laughs> Screw your processes. Save your energy. Save your love. Save your tears. You're going to need them for someone worth your time. And he's not worth your time, honey. <laughs> so I'm glad she got away. And I'm glad she's going back to her own apartment. And I need her to stay there. Stay out of that apartment. He's probably going to leave it just the way it is because he likes your picture being up there. But you need to sell your condo and get out of that building as long as he's going to be there. Because you don't need to be there as long as he's going to be there. Because he only bought you that apartment so he could see inside of it. Your downstairs apartment, he couldn't see inside of because she was inside the walls, not window views. Yeah, girl, now you see it. Now you see it. And so, Andy calling Karen was typical. To, uh, Karen being nasty was typical. And, you know, she pretty much got it out of her that she was at Zach's house. And she's like, what? We, I need to talk about this baby. What baby? You and Aaron's baby? Karen and Aaron's baby? That baby? Is that the baby you need to talk about? Because that's the only baby you could be talking about. She ain't talking about Zach's baby because you don't have Zach's baby. <laughs> you don't have it. And you know you don't. So you're going over there to Zach talking about, stop, Zach. Stop, Zach. You know what this is. Don't stop. Stop. So you can just look at me and say, you don't want to be with me and you don't love me. He said, I already told you I loved you. Then why are you doing this? Because he don't want to be with you. <laughs> he has fallen in love with somebody else. Loving somebody and being in love with somebody are two totally different things. And I'm sorry, the being in love trumps the, the basic love because the basic love comes after the being in love. And when you're in love, you can't be with nobody else. Yo, you not in love with Zach because you was just with Aaron yesterday. You was just with Aaron, so we know you not in love, Karen. You in lust and you want him because you can't have him. You want him because he's actually doing what you wanted him to do for somebody else. And you want that for yourself and it's never going to work. You telling this grown man to shut up is proof positive it's never going to work. You don't know how to talk to a grown man. You don't know how to talk to a man when you're not getting your way. You even get nasty with Aaron when you get in your feelings. And Aaron never bought you any diseases or ran out and cheated on you or anything. He's been nothing but good to you. But you want to treat, you know what I'm saying? All men like crap when you don't get your way. I'm going to need you to stop that, honey girl. Mm -mm. That is not the way. That is not the way. So, you know, her, you know, arguing with Zag, trying to, Forced her way into the, uh, his, you know, his townhouse. And you, is she in there? You know, that is my woman. Of course she's in there. So you living there with her sick? She gonna be in our life? No, she's gonna be in my life. <laughs> You're gonna be in your life and my child is gonna be in my life. You know, no. Mm -mm. And he was like, this is really sad. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ooh, antagonize her. Make her feel silly. Make her feel silly. Make her feel silly. So, we see that Fatima comes out of the townhouse on the balcony. And she, he, because she was like telling him to stop. And he said, I will not stop. I will not. I've told you. And she's like, I'm coming downstairs. So now Fatima coming downstairs, what you going to do, girl? You know she's pregnant. You can't be putting hands on her. You can't. And if she smack you, you can smack her back. It's self-defense. And she knew that she was putting her child at risk when she smacked you. So she, she going to be the one with the charges. Not you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So uh, we're going to see how that goes. And then we did see the previews for next week. It looks like Matt, Zach's mystery child is about to show up. 
um because the some girl walks up with a chat on her head talking about I've been looking for you by the time I got a good address on you. What do you need a good address for? He already paid his back child support. He don't owe you nothing. But you owe him a DNA test. That's what you owe him. So I don't know what's going on. And if maybe does Zach have a twin or something that maybe that's, you know, his twin's child or something? Because if he's got an identical twin, they have the same DNA. So I don't know, but it's going to have to wait and see how this comes out. But she's real ghetto and real hood. And I just hope Zach did not land himself in that because he was like, who are you? So he definitely does not recognize her. And so, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be hard to um, it's going to be something, you know, but we're just going to see how it comes out. And I like exactly where this um, season is going. It looks like <sighs> so. The baby mama, we finally see her and the child. She's actually going to go to Karen's beauty shop. We also see um, Karen talking to Andy, telling her not to judge her, not to say nothing, not to tell her she's wrong for what she did. You are wrong because you didn't tell him about it being Aaron's baby too. Possibly Aaron's baby. You didn't say anything about that. You made it like it was definitive that that was Zach's baby. Show him the ultrasound. Show him the ultrasound so that he can do his own math. Why you didn't do that? Why you didn't leave with the ultrasound? So we're going to see that um, go on. And then we're going to see that Q does call the detective and let the detective know that he's got his proof and his evidence because stupid Maurice then went along with the whole plot of why him and Sabrina had him rob the bank. Just stupid. Just stupid. Ugh. <laughs> And I don't reward stupid. I don't feel sorry for stupid. <laughs> Go where stupid belongs. And so, yeah, we're going to wait and see how this actually chalks up. But I like where it's going. How about you guys? You like it? Leave a comment. Let's talk about it. Okay. And so, again, if you haven't already, please hit my subscribe button. Okay. And I just want to say about the contest, I was reading YouTube has rules about contests, so I have to see and make sure that my contest actually adheres to the YouTube rules or I have to suspend it. So I'm hoping that I can get it all together. I think I just have to write out the rules and they need to be clear and concise. I think that's all I have to do, but I have to double check, okay? So I will let you guys know again about the contest when I know something about the contest, okay? <laughs> and that is my $5 and two cents. Peace.